Hi there, I'm Angela Sharp and welcome to The Daily Mix. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. You know who had a great weekend? The St. Louis Cardinals. They beat the club's record for consecutive games one, so that is impressive. And actually that streak has tied them for fourth best in the MLB since 1950. Those guys are gonna be back in town Tuesday through Sunday at Bush Stadium, hoping to solidify their spot in the playoffs. So make sure you make your way on out to Bush Stadium. And you know who was in town just recently? Jason Tatum. The Boston Celtic was returning back to your root, his roots, if you will. He actually put on a camp, a free camp, where he used to play basketball, which I think is just so adorable. Now, we were there, but media was not supposed to be there at all. And this is what I love about athletes like Jason. Um, Tarasenko used to do this all the time. He probably still does, but you never, ever hear about it because they make sure they go out of their way to make sure the media doesn't get any shots of them, doesn't take any video of them. They really want to do it from the goodness of their heart. And that is what I love. But he was out there playing basketball with the kids. And, and you know how inspiring that has to be for somebody, you know, from my own area, Jason Tatum, he, he's big and he comes back and he plays basketball with you. Older woman Clark Hubbard was also there, of course. She handed out a couple of proclamations. I caught up with her a little bit to talk about those to a couple people who work there who have just went above and beyond and you know put in the extra time to make sure the kids feel safe and secure. I even got a interesting but great story about kids who are you know asking like will you be my aunt because you know my mom's otherwise engaged and you know they're like yeah we will make sure you do your homework make sure you brush your teeth like just the little things that you don't necessarily think about and you just gotta love that. So you can see all of that a little bit later on on STL TV. Now on today's show you guys, can you tell? All right, you guys love my t-shirt? Because I love my t-shirt. It's a hot air balloon and the arch. What more is there to like, right? Well, obviously today on the show, I'm gonna show you what happened when I went up in a balloon, realizing all my little kid dreams and got to go up in a balloon during the Great Forest Park balloon race. That has been my literally favorite event in probably all of the land ever. And I always used to go chase the balloons with my dad. Well, this time my dad got to chase the balloon I was in during the race. It was, I gotta get through the rest of the show so I can show you how much fun it was, all right? So let's get started on today's Daily Mix. Hamilton begins work this week in her new role as St. Louis City Counselor. Appointed by Mayor Jones earlier this month, Hamilton is the first black woman to serve as City Counselor. And just last week, Mayor Jones announced the appointment of Frederica McGlown as Director of Slate, the St. Louis Agency on Training and Employment, and Bethany Williams as Street Department Director. Williams will be the first black woman to lead the Streets Department. Both are expected to take over their new roles within the next two weeks. Now, of course, when you think of streets, you think of the big trucks, right? And if you love big trucks or have a little one who does, then the Magic House has something for you. This weekend, they're hosting two big truck days. This is your chance to get up close to a giant crane, a bucket truck, sleeper cab, forklift, fire truck, and so many more. The tickets will include a hot dog meal, a construction hat to take home, private playtime in Trike Town, and all day admission to the Magic House, which is super cool. Big Truck Day will be rolling this weekend, October 2nd through the 3rd, from 10.30 to 2.30, both days. For tickets and more information, go to magichouse.org. Now, if trucks aren't your thing, maybe you like trains, right? Well, what's better than a train ride to see the big guy himself? Of course, I'm talking about Santa and the Polar Express. Santa and his elves were in town recently. They were here ahead of their busy season. And you know if Santa's in town, I'm going to find him, right? I love Santa. Well, I got a chance to catch up with him. Check this out.
I have Cameron Schofel, the director of fun, here with me. I'm so excited we've dubbed you director of fun, actually. Oh, I love it. We've got so much fun to be had here at St. Louis Union Station. And it's, uh, it's a great, great position to be in, so we're excited. And we are here for a really important reason. There's all sorts of awesome people behind us. You're starting to sell tickets for the Polar Express. That's right. We're super excited to bring back live trains again this year uh, here at Union Station. The Polar Express is back full steam ahead, and, and uh, it's going to be a great holiday season. For somebody who maybe doesn't know what this experience is like, is what they'll find out, what they'll see. Yeah, absolutely. So during the, the Polar ride, Polar Express experience, uh, they're going to come to Union Station. They're going to get an amazing uh, you know view into the depot where there's fun games and activities and a photo opportunity. And then you know it's it's off to the North Pole and uh, it's a 45 minute train ride. Uh, you know the trains, like I said, do leave the station and and all throughout the the time to the North Pole. We're we're singing the the hot chocolate song. We're reading the story. We're, we're eating uh, cookies and drinking hot chocolate, and it's just so much fun. And, uh, you know, once we get to the North Pole, it's, it's all about the big guy behind us here. Yeah, and we need to get our tickets. So, like I said, these tickets go fast. Tell people where they can go purchase their tickets, how they can get those. Yeah, absolutely. So you want to visit stlthepolarexpressride.com. You can also give us a call at 314-942-6942. Uh, book your tickets with an agent there. And, and uh, we've got everything from individual tickets to room packages that include tickets and an overnight stay in the hotel to decorated suites and, and uh, everything in between. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I love this. A decorated suite, an overnight stay, and the Polar Express. Well, how, you can't beat that. It's it's the best holiday tradition in, in St. Louis. And, and like I said, we're just so excited to have it back here at St. Louis Union Station. This is wonderful. Thank you so much, Cameron. Thank you. Let's go check out Santa. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. I'm so excited. Can I give you a hug, Santa? Absolutely. Yay! Oh my goodness, yay! Hi, Santa. Hi. And how are you? I'm so great. And Mr. Conductor, hello? Welcome. Oh my goodness. And a fancy little elf with your... Okay, are you guys so excited for the Polar Express? Absolutely. Oh. 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 <laughs> this will be so fun for everybody. All right, so... I already saw a couple kids stop. Oh yeah. It's a little warm, a little early for you to be out here. <laughs> That's right. Have you already received some people asking for what they want for Christmas? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I get that all year long. Okay, <laughs> what, what is like the thing? Is there a thing this well, year? Well, you know, every year, my, one of my biggest ones for the little girls is the Barbie Dream House. Oh, yes, I, that's, that's. I, that is a classic, it's been going on for decades, and that is almost always the number one request. I love, well, that's because even me, as an adult, loves the Barbie Dream House. <laughs> Told you. Great, well, I'm so excited. Tell everybody to make sure they come on out to the Polar Express. Oh, absolutely, you guys need to come on out and see us and take a trip to the North Pole. And we only have one rule, never, ever let it cool. <laughs> 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 I am so glad the Polar Express is back. Now, the first time I ever went, I took my niece and my nephew last year, but because of COVID, the trains were stationary. So I'm even more excited that the trains are going to be moving. That's going to be a ton of fun. I'm definitely writing down on the list of things I can do with my niece and my nephew. Now, if that has you feeling in the Christmas spirit and you're ready to jumpstart your holiday shopping, you're going to want to check out the best of Missouri market this weekend. Nearly 100 vendors will be at the Missouri Botanical Garden offering custom jewelry, crafts, and other handcrafted items. Native plants, locally produced food, and so much more. There's gonna be live music, a craft beer and cocktail court, plus a very special kids' corner featuring farm animals, pumpkin decorating, and all sorts of fall fun activities. The Best of Missouri Market runs this Friday through Sunday at the Missouri Botanical Garden. All of the details can be found at mobot.org. You're definitely gonna wanna check that out. That's gonna be a ton of fun. This weekend also marks the return of barbecue, beer, and bands to downtown St. Louis. That's right, Q in the Lou is back, along with some of the world's best pit masters. Come on out to Keener Plaza to grab a bite to eat and enjoy live music, cold drinks, and more. It's free to get in, and food and drinks will be available for purchase, or you can buy a Q Pit Pass. That is for all you can eat and drink. That sounds like the way to go. The sixth annual Q in the Loo runs this Friday through Sunday. For a full lineup, Pit Passes, and more, 
go to qandthelou.com. I love barbecue. That's going to be great. Next weekend kicks off the return of the popular ghost tours at the fabulous Fox Theater. Explore the untold history of the many ghost stories and unexplained events that have been reported throughout the theater's 90-year history. And go behind the scenes and see what happens after the shows have closed and the lights go dim. The tours will be limited to 16 people per group and guests 12 and older will be required to show proof of vaccine or negative COVID test to enter. The tours start next Saturday, October 9th and run the weekends through October 31st. You can find a full list of dates and times, tickets and more info at fabulousfox.com. The annual SSM Health Foundation St. Louis Gala also returns next weekend. This year's theme is RISE. You can join them and rise together to support SSM health community, health programs, and help those who need it most by addressing the root causes of their health issues, like food insecurity, unemployment, and poor access to care and transportation. The gala will be held next Saturday, October 9th downtown at the Hyatt Regency. For tickets and more information, or to make a donation, visit give to ssmhealth.org slash gala. Now, I like their little logo there, right? It's Rise and it's got a hot air balloon, and I've got a hot air balloon because I'm so excited. I hope you can feel how excited I was to be there that day on, at this piece. This was so great. The Great Force Park Balloon Race, literally the best event in town, and I got to go up during the race. Check this out, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, I got Kevin. Kevin jumped out with the smoke, right? Correct, yes. All right, so how long have you been skydiving? Uh, about 20 years. 20 years. What got you started? Well, I started a little bit in the military, and then when I got out, I took a break, and then when my kids got old enough, I got back into it. Um, I'm a parachute rigger, which means I can take care of and maintain uh, other skydivers' gear in accordance with the FAA, so yeah, it's a big part of my life. That's a big deal. So I'm, I'm taking it when you were in the military, that was more for job, and now you're going to doing it more for fun. I do it. I'm a tandem master, so what, what I really like is taking people on their first jumps and, uh, and seeing the excitement on their face when they get down. Oh, I don't think I could do it. Oh, you could. You could. I feel like I would get to the point where you're about ready to jump off, and then I'd be like, no. Uh, come out to Taylorville, Illinois some weekend, call ahead of time, and I will personally take you for free. Look at that, you guys, I got the next Angela's Adventures. It's skydiving. There you go. I'm so excited about that. All right, what would you tell someone who's never done it before, though? Um, well, I'm going to steal a line from Will Smith, and he said after his skydive, he said that the best things in life are on the other side of your fear. I feel like we can all live by that. All right, I feel like you need to tell everybody where you're located in case they want to go skydiving. Uh, the, the Taylorville Airport in Taylorville, Illinois. Um, we are the Mid-America Sport Parachute Club. We're the second oldest club in the United States. We just turned 50 this year. bunch of people out here waiting for the balloons to go up at the Great Forest Park Balloon Race, but these ladies, they seem like the party ladies. You guys are the party group, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, so where are you guys from? North County. North County. And how often do you guys come to this? I'm not from North County. Where are you from? By the Missouri Botanical Garden. Oh, okay. So you're pretty close to here. We come every year. You come every year. And so who are you guys related? Do you know each other? How does this work? Sisters. Sisters. I'm just sorry. We just met her today. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. You just met her today? So you were up here by yourself and they were like, come hang out with us? Yeah. 
This is what I love about this. You can apparently make new friends out here at the Great Forest Park Balloon Race. So you guys are making new friends. What, if you come every year, what's your favorite part? When the balloons go up. When the balloons go up. Do you kind of feel like a little kid when they go up? Like you get a little bit like excited and... Yeah, you usually get excited about it. It's a hot day, but you guys have it situated real nice. You brought umbrellas, so I can tell you guys are prepared. Yeah. Well, they come all the time. It's my first year. I usually watch it from my house. Oh, yeah, because you could see them kind of go up from your house. Exactly. exactly. But you came out today. Now, what do you think of all the other festivities that go along with this? Was... I think it's great. Yeah. I could have rode my bike up here. I'll be here every year now. There you go. She doesn't come every year. She's so popular. She's taking phone calls while we're doing this interview. <laughs> guys know I've been trying to do this since I was like five. I've always wanted to be in a balloon during the Great Forest Park balloon race. It's come to that time and this right here is Preston Gebhardt. He is the pilot who has been stuck with me so I apologize but thank you for letting me come with you. Absolutely looking forward to it. it should be a great night. So how many times have you been here to the Great Forest Park balloon race? Uh, as a pilot this is my fourth year as a pilot. So I'm coming here and helping some friends. Um, it's been I've been here about seven eight eight years because they wanted to get me down here and so you've got to come to this event and I came I'm like this is this force park has turned into my favorite event anywhere. I love to hear that that's kind of one of your favorite events now obviously 2020 was 2020 and then in 19 they didn't go up because of wind what are we thinking today because I have my fingers crossed right now Knock on wood, fingers crossed, the weather looks fantastic tonight. That is what I love to hear. Now, that's another thing. When you're up there, you don't really have too much control, right? I mean, you can kind of move, but you don't have really control when the weird takes you. No, you're mercy at the wind. But then when you get up there, you can just, with the other balloons, you can see what, what kind of direction, because we could be 100 feet in the air going straight east. We jump up another 100 feet, we're going straight south. We just, we just kind of adapt and make our flight path kind of the way we have it and we kind of keep an eye on each other and see what everybody else is doing at, at different altitudes and we just adjust fly and find a good spot to land. Okay so I hear that you've been coming to the Great Forest Park balloon race for a long time. Very long time, very long time. We just basically just watched them go up by the turtle. Turtles. Okay, so you sat at Turtle Park, watched yeah. them go up. Yep, and then then we started taking the kids, driving around chasing them. Just We just wait outside and we chase them and your kids liked it. So we've been doing it, I don't know how many years. Hey guys, this is my dad. I didn't mention that when we started this. So I'm really excited. He came to watch me take off. So are you gonna attempt to chase me today? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so excited right now. Okay. Okay, hold on to those. We're gonna hold on. Hold on if I'm gonna hold on. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm good. much for taking me on this ride. This is so amazing. I cried a little, but not a lot. If you've not experienced an event, it's free to go watch the balloons take off, right? 
what more can you ask for? You can sit on the other side of the road, you know, over here on the other side of the park and watch or go into the park and experience it. The Great Forest Park Balloon Race can be found on all social media channels, GFPBR balloon race, obviously. You can find that it's usually mid to late September. So mark it on your calendar and definitely check it out. Especially if you have a little kid. So little kids usually love to see the balloons of the sky. Or if you're a giant child like me, you should check it out. Now, after you check that out and mark that on your calendar, make sure you're following us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can even drop us a line at thedailymix at stltv.net. Let me know what my next adventure should be. Why not? Like, tell me what you think I should do. That's going to do it for The Daily Mix. We keep it right here on STL TV and Experience St. Louis. I'll see you next time.